Hello guys and welcome to episode 22 of my Yash campaign in Stone Division 2, playing on the Soviet side. Previously we started making attacks on the right side of the center and we still got more to do so let's carry on. I really want to make an attack with the 27th Guards Tank Brigade and I think taking out some of these infantry would be a good start. I could probably attack the 2nd Battalion of the 14th Infantry Regiment but that will bring in the 7th Infantry Division and also potentially the artillery to back them up so that would be us dealing with like 40 points worth of stuff in Phase A which would be kind of hard especially since they do have some Schneiders and they've also got the Rashidza and the Rashidza um, will do a lot of damage to my T-34s. Now in order to get over that I could bring in some fighters or the bombers um, that is certainly something I could look at but before I do that it's probably worth double checking across the front line if my AA is going to have us covered. So on this side I can certainly uh, move up my AA a little bit and deploy that. That's going to cover the left side there. This is a little bit open. The right side is a bit open. But that's okay. I'm going to end up moving this one across anyway. I think we can probably get away with using at least one of our air units. Let's just see which one is uh, good to use. So the LA-5s come with the two 50 kilogram bombs. Uh, the X-7s have the rockets. I just crossed my mind actually that maybe they have AA. Like enough AA to stop my aircraft being useful anyway. Uh, no. Okay, they don't. That's fine. Alright, that's bombs, yaks with cluster munitions. These have 37mm guns in the nose, so they'll be pretty useful. I think the TU-2Ss and Bostons would be much more useful in another fight, so... I think I might go for, like, the LA-5s. Gives us the LA-5N bombers that can deal with the wretched stuff for us, or at least like pin them for us. And I do of course have uh, some infantry anyway that can kind of lead the charge. We do have the Gavardia as well as a, a couple recon units. I mean maybe that's the way we have to sort of take it is bring in the recon ahead. I'm definitely going to bring in the LA-5s anyway. That's tactical battle. Oh, never mind. They didn't defend. Alright, that's kind of annoying because now we are in a position to be counter-attacked there. But did my aircraft maintain their action points? They did. Okay. Well, I could still make that attack with the 22nd Engineer Sapper Brigade. That would also call in the 4th Army Group HQ though, uh, which would mean that there is a potential for 60 points in Phase A to have to deal with, which would be significant to say the least. Then again, if I manage to pull this in plus a couple more in Phase B, then it'd be totally worth it. It's tactical battle and see if we can make this work. I reckon that I could hold on long enough with pioneer units till phase B to win this battle. And if we can win the battle that way, then we're in a good spot. So, I'm gonna have to go with probably like the Stamaviki rocks and just have them deploy in close range areas and capture flags. Do I have any AT guns with this? I don't think I do. We do have PTRS that we can probably use. I can move up a few of those to snipe any tr enemy transports. I don't have much for engaging at range. 
The Stemaviki, they have DTs. My best range unit is probably the leader at <laughs> the Sturm Comrati. The rest of them are really bad. That's three flags. That's four flags. If we had some mortars, this would be much easier, but unfortunately we do not. So I'm just going to have to work out a way that I can get forwards. Could just kind of try and flood forwards initially with Stemaviki into maybe the town and this hill objective. Maybe. We'll give it a go. They start shooting me with AT guns and we'll have to unload and just run away, but we'll see how it goes. It looks like they do have those units there. And a Rashidza. Right on cue. <laughs> Classic. Okay. 19 to 5. Good start. I think this might die to the Hotchkiss. Okay, good. We got into cover. Right, where's my Stomaviki? Oh, getting them over there is going to be a pain, isn't it? The Fast Sneaky do have exceptional stealth, so they might be able to get somewhere and get some kills, but... I think best thing for me to do is just wait out the first 10 minutes, wait for my reinforcements, and then spend the next 30 minutes finding the victory. That will hopefully destroy the first unit that we attacked if we manage to get a total victory and if not we'll go for just a major victory so we can disorganize all three that'd be really really good this is a very very important attack it could do a lot of damage to the front line oh, that's why we can't pull in stuff there because the Watchkiss is actually preventing us from spawning. Okay, I'm going to try and move up a little bit at least. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make that much ground. Maybe I could use my Akinemachiki to just create a smoke wall from my units. I don't know if that'd work. It kind of works. It depends on the range, I guess, on how far we need to go with it. Okay, I'm just going to speed things up. Might just start saving my points. Sounds like there's a unit moving forwards here that's mechanized. Oh, we're actually in range to use the grenades there. It's going to be a very dead unit. Yeah, they are gone. Well, oh, good start, I suppose. I got into cover there, that's pretty important. Pretty important that I do that. Okay, 
Gonna bring in some foul sneaky here. They can maybe try and sneak up. Enemy artillery coming down there. It's doing a decent amount of damage. Oh, they've got the Hotchkiss as well. I'm really going to have to get my own mortars firing away. Because this is going to suck. <laughs> These Hotchkiss is hurt a lot. I want my infantry to just stay hidden. Oh, that's not good. The blooming motorcycle revealed my infantry early. That is a pain. Alright, four minutes till phase B. Just keeping that one there to hold the spawn. I mean, I could put him in the building there, actually. Yeah, the biggest problem we do have is they're going to have the build-up from Phase A. We're going to have probably more units or more to work with in Phase B, but I'm, I'm basically going to have to charge them down pretty hard. And we might lose a lot in the process. Oh, they're just arting the crap out of this area, aren't they? Blimey. Nebelwerfer. All of their big guns land in there. Not long. A few minutes remaining. Just gotta try and keep some units hidden. Okay, we're going to have 20 minutes to at least bring this to a minor victory. I'm not sure if a major victory is going to be possible. Not with the way that they're set up. Not with the like Rashidza and the Hodgkiss and all that stuff in position. It's going to be a right pain. That's a shame. Both those foul sneaky are very dead now. Yeah. I was hoping I'd be able to like get close to that, but not with the Hotchkiss there, unfortunately. We can probably just do a runner and hopefully they'll end up hidden. Those are the Schneiders in those uh vehicles. Alright, one minute left. And then we start the push. <laughs> okay. We hold on this held on this long. We can certainly do some damage. I've got two flags here on the left hand side that I can take very quickly. I'm gonna bring in Stalky DP just to take out the Hotchkiss there. And we're gonna do normal Stroki just to take out the Reshitsa. Um, probably want to do Stroki and Snipers on this side and from the hill Maxims Snipers more Maxims in the open Stroki DP Maxims and we can get into the town. Once we're in the town, we can change that to maybe Avtos. I could get some mortars in. I'm a little bit concerned about using mortars. Because they're probably going to get counter-batteried very fast.
We'll bring in a few though. If I keep them spread out, it won't be too bad. At least it will give them maybe something to shoot out that isn't the front line. Alright, suddenly so these, clear out their Hotchkiss, we'll move up again from there. The Schwarzloser is actually doing quite a lot of damage to us right now. It's killing a lot of my snipers. Yeah, I'm just going to fall those back. We'll have the Stroke take the fire. Maybe bring in one of my OBs. Oh, there comes the artillery already. Damn, that was fast. <laughs> Everything is coming in on it. What? <laughs> oh my. Really? Really, AI? You're going to do this to me? Okay. Alright, start pushing forwards with all this lot. I'm gonna have the Stemaviki move up as well, may as well. They're not gonna be useful otherwise. Let's have all of these move up. The mortars are definitely helping. I'm going to bring in like another bunch of mortars just to make sure that I have them to play with. Oh, that one took a direct hit. Nothing I can do about that. Right, the thing I'm most concerned about right now is I still haven't taken another. That one got direct hit as well. Oh my. You're kidding me. I still haven't captured another flag on this attack. Um, it's taking a little bit longer than I'd like. Uh, there must be, the Hotchkiss must be down here then. Weird. Alright, let's have a couple keep pushing up. All the Maxims there. Looks like they might get the job done. Very good. Okay. I'm thinking I bring up an OB here. Bring up an OB on the left. That's a lot of Rashids there. <laughs> really. So many. Alright, let's just hit those. If I can take them out, then I can probably make quite a lot of ground. The snipers are doing okay, and the Maxims are actually doing quite a lot of damage as well. Chutitash Moto. Getting in the way there. Alright, let's try and go for some of these flags now. Probably one of the most patient battles I've played in a long time. Uh, these guys are going to have to be really careful because they don't really have anything that can take out that 25 mil very well.
Okay, let's go get that flag. These guys are being forced back. I think we're in range to take out that Hotchkiss. Not good. Come on, please kill all that off. Please kill that off. Thank you. Gonna be another one now, isn't there? Ooh, there's a lot of stuff. Another one of my mortars got blapped. Okay, not bad, not bad. Got some more Maxims to come and push across the open. Gonna grab Mises 3s. A couple on the left as well. Let that modifier come down and then we'll carry on. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get a major victory just because as soon as we get anywhere near, it's basically going to just end. Like, it's not that we couldn't do it, it's more that we don't have time to do it. Okay, gonna bring up uh, AT gun here. More Gavardia. Any other flags that I could go for? We could go for this one. Could maybe just try and push all the way through on that side. Yeah, so far so good though. In the grand scheme of things. <laughs> As I watch two snipers just go up in smoke. Yeah, there's only two minutes left now. We'd have to capture another five flags, I think, for a major victory. That's not going to happen. I mean, I could just charge towards the flags and see if that works, but... I'm not so sure. Three more flags. Two more flags. One minute. I need this throw key to like. Well, this can run over there. Ah, they're reinforcing this. Not sure I have enough time. This 
stops Vaka have two machine guns. This is gonna hurt. Oh, major victory, please. Hey, get off this Hodgkiss. Get off the SSMG. Oh, no. <laughs> How have I lost this one? <laughs> I need this to come back. Please move forwards. Twenty seconds remaining. Okay. A nineteen to five. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yes, we did it. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, great. That is <laughs> wow, I did not expect us to get that. Oh, courageous Soviet men charging forwards. 104 kills to 54 losses. Very nice. Oh. That was that was a tough one. In these battles, I swear they are. <laughs> they keep me on my toes, that's for sure. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, none of these units will be dead, I don't think. Uh, unless we get lucky. I think we'll just end up um, disorganizing them all. Yeah. Cool. So the only thing that can attack this unit is probably the recon group, but the recon group's in a bit of disarray, so it's not really going to do too much. Wow. That was extremely successful bring the tanks to the front line now the t-34s are ready to break through lovely i've also got the uh 33rd rifle Corps hq that can back us up uh this unit might as well push all the way forwards awesome stuff Okay, so the only other attack that I was looking at maybe doing was onto the 1st Hussars Battalion. This is quite elite, Rostiari. Two star burner at sea. But if we take these guys out, we dislodge both the 42nd AT Battalion and the 5th Motorized Cavalry Division. So... Yeah, I'm thinking that's a good idea before they dig in there. Not sure what I'd want to initiate with. I guess it'd have to be the 453rd. Oh, they can be reinforced by the 7th Hussars. And the 2nd Battalion. Oh, actually. Bombard, please. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we have the artillery there. Perfect. All right. That makes things a lot easier. Uh, not going to bring in the mortar regiment. Don't think there's any need to. Uh, do these come in half tracks? They do. Okay. I'm going to have to make sure they bring plenty of AT guns. This tactical battle, jump on in. Yeah, that last battle, really chuffed about that. That's going to make the breakthrough in the center a lot easier. A lot, a lot easier. Now we've got to deal with this one. So, give me a lot of half tracks. So we'll bring in, I'm actually going to do 45s from the start. Mainly because the half-tracks are going to be slow. 
And so we can probably pick off quite a lot of them uh, before they unload. That's what I'm going to try and go for. And over here, we need to line up with this road. Okay. I could probably get one one load up here somewhere. Here's this three just in the open. Uh, this one's going to go over here. Yeah, there's this three up on the hill. I might put more of this threes up on the hill actually. And at the start, because these come in jeeps, going to rush a load of Maxims up on top of here. There we go, that's better. Uh, this one can just zoom up and unload as far as up as possible. I'm going to also just unload as this three there. And then bring a Storaki Kamrati up onto the hill. Uh, maybe a sniper as well. Can they get Maxims for the right hand side? Right, that should be that sorted. Uh, in the town, I'm thinking we just do Strauki. So we put these ones over here, these ones into the town uh, with a leader for both. And then a sniper on the left hand side, cover that AT gun. And we're off. Gonna have to reinforce the center a little bit, but otherwise we're all good. Speeding it up a little bit, I'm not sure if they have any like fast units. They do have the 222s, actually, yeah, the AB Horch, so we'll have to be a bit careful about those. But with the 45 mil zooming up, we should be able to pick them off if we see them. Depends if they actually use them or not. Well, they are definitely using them. I think because they cost so much, they haven't actually captured the front line properly. And the right side's completely ours already to be over very quickly. Leave one of those up on the hill. Let's bring those as three there. Get a bunch of Strauki here and here. Get the OB up on the hill there. Okay, I might try and bring up a commander if I can. And there's the Horches coming at us. Oh, 
Let's get that commander in. Nice. When we can kill those half tracks before they unload, it's like really, really good. Alright, that's all of the Hotch is dead. Lost another Strokey there. That sucks. Uh, let's just try and move these up a little bit more. Rashiari at close range are going to probably beat my Strokey, but... That's okay. I mean, they don't really have enough to beat them. There's not enough men alive in the squads. Looks like we won the ranged engagement already, so... That's all good. Oops. And this wreck actually got us. Wow, okay. Looks like so we caught the last infantry squad there. That's good. I spread out a little bit thin on the left. They've had these pushing up the road already, really, but okay. I'm just going to unload these at spawn. We'll just more to the crap out of this area. We do need a total victory, so I've got to make sure I focus on actually getting that before the game ends. Okay, good. There we go. Sorted. Let's grab some more infantry to come secure this ahead of us. These Romanians running for their lives. Yeah, I've absolutely demolished them. Let's just speed things up. Probably a little bit go about this unit here. Uh, looks like it'll be fine. Just start moving him back. Replace him with the other one. Big old line of maxims. <laughs> Only one flag left. It's always this flag in the middle that like is really hard to get to. Right, keep things sped up. And that is it. Lovely. Total victory, eight minutes, sixteen seconds, twenty-eight kills, three losses. I am happy with that, and hopefully that will destroy them. Yep. Job done. Nice. Pushes those out of their fortifications as well. Now here, it might be worth just attacking into the second battalion of the mounted artillery regiment just to kill it off 
Uh, so it can't reinforce in future. The other thing we could do is just dig in. I'm not sure if they can sneak past me here by digging there. Hopefully not. I could just go for an encirclement quickly here though. Probably be more beneficial to do that and a lot quicker. Yeah, I think I'll work out the rest of these movements. I don't think there's any more attacks here to do. I don't think I'm going to make that attack. I think we're going to dig this in. But i just got to move the rest of these forces down to the front line. And then we'll continue by attacking into this area. Because we're going to want to make sure we break down these two units before they dig in as well. Just got to keep up the momentum. Just keep crashing into their defenses and breaking them down, disorganizing them, and creating salience all over the place. Yeah, they're very, very thin across here. Especially with all of these units now disorganized. We're getting very, very close to Yesh. Nice. All right, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.